I'm going to switch around a little bit on the Billboard Hot 100s and pick out those Lost 45s. Boy, do I have a Lost 45, a little treat for you from Billboard's Hot 100 the week of August 12th, 1961. Let me bring that up for you real quick. 1961, we're right in the midst of the sock hop years between 1954, 55 through 63. Coming in at, let me give you the top five from that week, August 12th, 1961. Hats off to Larry by Dale Shannon at number five. Dumb Dumb by Brenda Lee, number four. From seven to three, the Marquise with Last Night. I Like It Like That, part one by Chris Kenner at number two. And Bobby Lewis tossing and turning on Billboard's Hot 100 for 23 weeks at number one. But let's go all the way to the bottom rungs of Billboard's Hot 100, all the way down. Ooh, my goodness. Uh, all the way down to uh, number 96. I'm just looking at this Hot 100. Oh my goodness, there's so many Lost 45s I want to cover on this thing. But I'm only going to be able to get to just a few tonight. Let's go to number 96. Willa Willa. Willa Willa by Shirley and Lee. Talk about Lost 45 right there. Digging right. Digging to the bottom, the very bottom of the treasure chest. Dig this 45 out. Shirley and Lee. Shirley Mae Goodman from New Orleans made her first demo in 1950. A fellow named Eddie Masner. He was the head of Aladdin Records. He heard her voice and he just said, man, this, this girl's fantastic. I got to do something with her. He paired her with a guy named Leonard, Leonard Lee, and they called themselves Shirley and Lee. First R&B hit, I'm Gone, back in 1952, went to number two on R&B, and they had that big signature hit in 1956. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. You still hear that quite a bit on XM's 50s on 5, let the good times roll with the number 20 on, uh, on, bill, on, on billboard charts, and it went to uh, number one on R&B. But the hit slacked off for them, and uh, they changed to the Warwick record label in 1959, but didn't have, well, really didn't have any, much luck with that label either, and that's when they came out with Wella Wella, 1961, only got as high as 61, I mean, only got as high as number 77 on Billboard's Hot 100, that's it. Man, we're talking about, this song just, it's lost, but Mr. DJ's bringing it back. Uh, they broke up around 1963, and afterwards, uh, well, she was in and out of the music business, uh, Shirley, Shirley Goodman. Uh, she was a session singer, sang on sessions with Sonny and Cher, Dr. John. She sang back up on Rolling Stones, main, uh, Exile on Main Street, sang back up vocals on that uh, when they made that album in 1971, released in 72. Um, she was contacted Shirley Goodman was contacted by Sylvia Robinson. Sylvia, Rob Sylvia Robinson of Mickey and Sylvia. Love is strange fame back in the 50s. But by the early 70s, oh my goodness, Sylvia Robinson, she was a record mogul. She was co-owner of all platinum records. I believe she, f she helped uh, <clears throat> the career <clears throat> of the moments who had that hit. Love is a two-way street back in 1970, which was an awesome record. And Sylvia Robinson had a hit with Pillow Talk three years later. Well, the bottom line is this. Sylvia Robinson, she had a track. She had a slamming disco track. She wanted Shirley Goodman to drop her focus on this track. That's what happened. It was called Shame, Shame, Shame. Comeback disco hit in the mid-70s. By, uh, for Shirley Goodman. It was under the moniker Shirley and Company. Here's Shirley and Lee with Wella Wella on Billboard's Hot 100 coming in at number 96, week of August 12, 1961.